Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to diagnose Azure VM network traffic problem using Network Watcher. In this video we will deploy a virtual machine and then would we'll check communication to an IP address and URL from, uh, from an IP address. We will determine the cause of a communication failure and how we can resolve it using Azure Network Watcher. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal so let me just uh, first of all create a virtual machine I will click on create a resource Be I will select 2016 data center you can use Ubuntu server as well or Linux virtual machine as well uh, whatever you want to go with I'm gonna go with 2016 data center all right I will create a new resource group test as a network watcher you can do it anything I'm gonna grip Azure VM1 I'm gonna keep it in East US I will not go with the uh, any infrastructure resource I'm not going to use as your spot free instance I will go with the username and the password this okay selected ports disk default networking also I'm gonna go with default I will not enable boot diagnostics advanced nope go with the default tags no review create and it will run the final validation I will click on create and now it's initializing the deployment it's submitting the deployment my deployment is in progress I'm gonna pause the video and come back when it is done my deployment is complete I'm gonna click on go to resource I have a server VM1 now if you want to test the network communication with network watcher we'll have to first enable a network watcher in at least one Azure region and then use network watchers IP flow verify capability uh, that we discussed in the previous video so we'll have to enable uh, the network watcher so I'll go to this portal I'll do this I'll click on network watcher and now if you would see the network watcher overview it says pay as you go 33 regions partially enabled click on here you see east us it is enabled right let's say you deployed a vm in central india or any other region where it is not enabled you have to click on here right and you click on enable network watcher it will be enabled for this region as well under your subscription all right my east us region is already enabled right so once again you go you click on uh, if you are at the home screen go on to network watcher on the overview tab uh, you will see your subscription name click on this regions go to your region where you have from for which you want to enable network watcher and then click on these three dots and click on enable network watcher right like I like I enabled is for West US right now it is enabled you would see if I click here it is enabled for the West US now if I click on this so it will disable the network watcher for that particular region all right okay so this East US is uh, enabled so we are good now we'll use IP uh, flow verify under network diagnostic tools in the network watcher click on IP flow verify and now if you would see uh, so you will select 
your subscription i only have one if you have multiple subscription select the particular subscription i have uh, one resource group here in which i have a virtual machine so it picked up it picked that up uh, automatically and i have only one vm as a vm1 all right and the network interface of that vm is this all right so now you want to do the protocol tcp let's select the direction for outbound my local ip address or the ip address of my vm is 10.0.0.0.4 now if i have to show you this is my srvm1 you see this a private ip address 10.0.0.4 go back 10.0.0.4 and the remote uh, ip address you can choose anything let's let's say uh, we go bing.com right so let me just ping here ping bing.com 204.79 right i do remote ip address all right let's go for 80 port number remote port and let's click on check Okay, local port is missing so let's do the local port also as uh, any port select check it will take its time to do the checking and after a few seconds when the result would return it will inform us that the access is allowed because of a security rule named uh, I'll, I'll tell you why so see you see access is allowed because of security rule allow internet outbound all right so let me show you where it is referring to so now you go to this you click on networking of your vm and you click on outbound port rules and you see the result allow internet outbound right so you go here allow internet outbound it is because of this this port number is allowed all right now let's say you go local port 100 you click on check again low internet outbound for the same rule internet outbound destination is internet now let's say you uh you click on you add an outbound rule here destination any destination port 80 80, 80 protocol any action is deny priority 100 so lower the priority higher the precedence now internet uh, the, the connection to internet the traffic on internet is blocked by the outbound port rule that I just created you will see it now if I hit on refresh action is deny I go to network watcher again I go to AT and do check for outbound let's see you see this now the access is denied because of the security rule port 8080 so whenever the communication is not working you can do the ip flow verify after you have enabled network watcher and then you can see which rule is breaking the communication and why you are not able to visit right so i hope this was informative for all of you guys and if you want to do more labs you can 
have this VM running up and fine. But if you don't want to do more laps, please do not forget to delete all your resources that you created for the lab purposes. And uh, please don't delete the resources which are the which are for the prod environment. Okay. And if you still have any questions, please mention them in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.